What's up, YouTube and Cordy? It's been a while since we've done uh, IRL deck profiles, so I think I would give you guys the Mermel deck that I played last weekend at my locals. I went undefeated with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and profile. It's been a while since I've played anything other than Prophecy, uh, but a lot of people always like to see diversity, especially in the current format. I've had this deck since like last May, I just put it away in a box until uh, this format um, when it was a little bit more viable. So, to start thing off, Triple Linde, uh, pretty staple for the Mermail deck. I uh, can't really argue this. Um, it is mandatory at three. Uh, next up, Triple Abistus. Uh, everybody knows Stu, um, especially for seven star Mermails. So, three of him. Uh, triple Megalo. Yes, enjoy the offbeat rarities. This is the last time I played this, I only played two Megalo. So, there's that. Uh, one of Abyss Lead, this off of Linde. It's pretty good. Um, triple spike and two clown girls pretty much rounds us out um, on the Mermel engine. One diva, I still don't particularly like diva, but it's still really good for what it is. Uh, triple heavy infantry, ridiculous card right now, especially the ability to blow up your opponent's key cards. Uh, triple marksman, I actually played against uh, Chain This uh, last weekend and f so many back row. Um, this with Spike uh, to another one with Megalo to drop more uh, to continue to pop your opponent's back row. Uh, it's really good for what it is. And then our one of Dragoons. Gotta love Dragoons. So he's at one for a reason. Um, also playing one of Tidal. Um, this triggers all of your Atlanteans. Uh, free searches are always good. Um, and then I'm playing two Trag one Gores. Um, basically, I like to use Gors in the sense of putting pressure on the opponent. I can just pass turn one or just set Linde. If they deal with it, I can drop Gors, uh, set up more board presence, um, XYZ. Uh, same logic behind Trag. I can pass to make it really big on turn one, uh, take my opponent's hit, and I let them know what I'm playing, and then I can produce a really big, big beat stick. So, Also, this build is pretty much based off of my friend Garrett uh, from Chicago. Uh, gave me his list to kind of change things a little bit more to my taste. Um, that's for spells, triple MST, one dark hole, and one salvage. Uh, this is strictly player preference. You can play two or three. Um, I just found that one worked a little bit better. Um, as for traps, triple abyss sphere. Um, I'm also playing one squall. I found that the later the game goes, um, the more like power you need behind your megalo. And abyss squall can make you get two particular points in the game uh, where you can just overpower your opponent with one squall and then just win the game. As for the rest of the traps here, one Compulse, one Tarantula, one Warning, two Mirror Force, and one Bottomless. Um, it's pretty standard 7 star Mermails. Uh, the deck performed beautifully. Um, as for the extra deck, one of Cataster, one Doloran, and one Black Rose for Synchros. I only have the Diva Tuner, uh, no effect failures or things like that. Uh, one Kappa, one Zen Mains, one Abyss Trite, one Nightmare Shark. This off of Bahamut Shark is kind of cute. Three Cowboy plays are good. Uh, Leviathan, Cowboy, Dweller, Bahamut Shark, two Gaios, uh, one Big Eye, and one Draco Sack for the extra deck. As for the side, uh, one Abyss Soldier. I uh, pretty much liked the reasoning that my friend Garrett gave me for this particular card. Uh, he's 1800, pitch a guy, uh, bounce back a threat off of the board, um, and just another level 4 to go into Bahamut Shark is pretty good. Uh, two Mexis for general opponent special summoning. I didn't see any dragons there or anything like that, so I figured it was okay. Uh, one Book of Moon, just needed filler. Uh, one Malevo Catastrophe, ridiculous card. This card won me uh, my chain this matchup, just five back row. It's always good. Um, as for hand control, um, I'm a really avid fan of this. Uh, this deck has a really good hand control engine. Um, two Aoi, two Mind Crush. Uh, depending what you're playing against, um, Aoi and Mind Crush uh, can put you in a really good state of mind. Um, you can control your opponent's key plays with Aoi. Uh, you can cr mind crush additional targets in their hand once they set up. And it's one of the particular things I like doing with this deck is boarding in hand control uh, with these particular four cards uh, just to hurt the opponent's chances of setting up 
important plays, especially going first or second, uh, seeing what they got. Uh, two goes in match. My whole deck is water. What do I have to lose? Uh, two dust tornadoes for our D Fisher macro, and then two shadow imprisoning mirror uh, for all of the stupid dark world and other matchups. So. Guys, I believe that's 15. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Yep, that's my 15 card set. Lack of extra sleeves. So, that is my Mermel deck, guys. Please leave a comment down below. Uh, keep in mind, this deck is strictly made for locals, so some of my card choices might not be optimal for more competitive play, uh, but those are just the particular choices that I felt were good. So, guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this deck, and I'm out.